Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about the low angle tracking and what are the problems related with and how to overcome the problems. So let's begin with the topic. So in this video we are going to talk basically about the low angle tracking and we are also going to discuss the following points and the points are First of all, we are going to discuss about the problems in low angle elevation tracking. Then next we'll discuss image tracking creation with the earth surface. We'll also have a look of various errors in the elevation angle measurement and we'll also understand the concept of multipath signal. Then we will discuss about the use of narrow beam antenna and finally we'll end the topic with the help of some MCQs. So let's start with the low angle elevation. So basically the radar is used to monitor the behavior or monitor the position of the target. The radar continuously monitors the position of the object by tracking it. The radar tracks the object at low elevation angle and near to the surface of earth receives two different echo signals from the same target. The first signal is nothing but the direct reflection of the signal from the target and other signal is nothing but the echo signal that is received from the target via earth surface. So in that case the signals which are received from the target that is the echo signal which is a direct form and the signal which is received by our surface is get combined at the radar receiver and results in the formation of angular error measurement. So the value of angular measurement in this case differs from the true value. Here the true value of angular measurement is nothing but the value measured by the radar system with the single echo. That means in the case of true measurement of the angular measurement, the value of the second signal, that means there is an absence of the signal which is received from the target via earth surface. So in that case only one echo signal is considered and that measurement is considered as true angular measurement. So in actual practice if the target is near to the earth surface and if it is at low elevation angle then the radar can receive two different signals that is one is direct reception and second is reflection of signal via earth surface. So with the help of these two signal the error is get produced in the angular measurement. Now this value of angular measurement is deferred from the true measurement. So this results basically into the measurement of elevation error. The signal which is reflected from the earth surface is also called as multipath signal. And it is because due to the fact that the, it is may possible that the target is mirrored onto the earth surface. So whenever the signal is get reflected back from the target, it is get reflected also from the mirror image of the target which is present on the earth surface. So one of the method that can be used to avoid this is nothing but use of narrow beam antenna. Because in case of narrow beam antenna, the beam of antenna is narrower which avoids the reflection of the signal from the earth surface and therefore it results into this reflection of only one signal from the target that is direct reflection. The second method that can be used to avoid the multipath signaling or to avoid the reflection of a mirror image or the reflection of signal from the mirror image on the surface is nothing but the use of off axis tracking or use of off site tracking. So with the help of these two techniques we can also reduce the effect of mirror image which is present on the earth surface. The frequency diversity technique can also be used to avoid the multipath signaling. Now let's move on to the MCQ part. The first question is low angle tracking results in and the options are generation of Doppler frequency shift, generation of direct and reflected signal from earth surface, third option is long range ambiguity and fourth option is lowering signal to noise ratio. The low angle tracking is basically results into generation of reflected and signal from earth surface. Also we can say that the signal which is reflected from the earth surface takes longer time for traveling as compared to the signal which is directly reflected from the target or object. Therefore it is possible to differentiate between the two signals that is the signal which is directly reflected from the target and the signal which is reflected from the earth surface. And if we differentiate between these two signals then it is possible to find out the actual range or we can find out the actual angular measurement in case of radar. So this system or this error can also be avoided by finding out the actual value of the range by using certain parameters of the radar system. Now let's move to the next MCQ. The second question is low angle tracking generator errors in azimuth plane. Option B is antenna axis and target axis. Option C is elevation plane and option D is Doppler frequency shift. So low angle tracking generates error in basically the elevation plane. Now let's move to the next question. 
and the question is the solution to come over the issue of multipath signal in low angle tracking is and the option are use staggered pulse repetition frequency option b is use antenna with very narrow beam width and option c is locking the antenna elevation angle by sensing large elevation angle error so we can see in this case option b and option c can be both techniques are used for eliminating the multipath signaling that means the the technique of off axis tracking or the technique of both side tracking is nothing but the locking the antenna elevation angle by sensing large elevation angle error is nothing but the off axis tracking or both side of axis tracking or if we use a narrow beam width and then also it is possible to avoid the multipath signaling that is reflection of signal from target via earth surface so this is what about the low angle tracking in which the signal receives by the radar system having two different reflection and one reflection is because of the earth surface and other is direct reflection which results into the error of angular measurement and to avoid this the various techniques are used one of the method is frequency diversity second method is use of beam antenna and third method is nothing but off axis tracking or both side off axis tracking so this is what about the topic of low angle tracking so i hope you understand this topic so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira subscribe ikira thank you